Failure to properly reset the release mechanisms. Failure to insert the safety pin fully. Failure to understand the equipment and its operation. Failure to inspect and maintain the equipment. Any resistance felt during resetting should always be questioned and the reason established at once. Faulty procedures during drills include avoiding using the release gear altogether and detaching the lower falls link manually. This means that the release gear is never test operated at all. Failure to reset the equipment away from the ship before reconnecting the falls. Failure to appreciate the significance of resistance in operation. Failure to check the position of the hydrostatic interlock indicator once the boat is lifted clear of the water. Many seafarers believe that its only function is to override the interlock. So this is the correct operational procedure when using this type of on-load release gear during an emergency or drill. Study the release gear fitted to your ship to understand its correct operation. Once the lifeboat is in the water, check that the hydrostatic interlock releases the interlock lever into the red zone. This frees the release mechanism. Remove the safety pin. Pull the release handle up against the spring tension so the locating pins are clear of the slots. Then pull the release handle as far aft as possible and both hooks are free to open. Once the drill is over, before returning to the ship, make sure the release handle is pushed back as far as it will go so that the locating pins in the handle are above the slots. Reset the release hooks, pulling on the lever until they reach the stop position, with the tail of the hook hard against the flat face of the cam. Check that they are securely locked by looking carefully and pulling on the hook. When the hooks are reset, the release handle will drop down into the slot. Reinsert the safety pin. Maneuver the lifeboat under the davits. Engage the end links into the release hook assemblies. Lift the boat just clear of the water and stop hoisting. Check that the hydrostatic lever is in the locked position, the green zone. A final check that the falls links are fully engaged and the hooks are properly set. Once all is safe, return the lifeboat into the stowed position. Modern lifeboats are complex and employ release gear that demands proper use at all times. Check your own vessel's manual to see if there are any differences between the gear on your vessel and that illustrated in this video. Incorrectly operated or neglected, they can easily become a real danger to life. If you're still unsure of the correct operation of the onload release gear, watch the video again in conjunction with the manufacturer's manual. Correctly used and maintained, they are a vital and reliable element in your ship's safety system and can improve your chance of successful escape.